Welcome back to Bevy Live, and we've got good news and bad news. Bad news, this is the last day of fish. This is a disaster. Good news, however, we are at Ardbeg, yeah. Ardbeg Day, always an absolute treat. Yeah. One of the highlights. Yeah, we're sneaking off. What, what a week it's been, first mm, and foremost. A, a real education for me as well. Mm. A great atmosphere here in Ardbeg. And let's get in and try the last whiskey because I'm so excited. We're going to get some spend some time with Colin today, yep. which is very rare. So another distillery manager, another warehouse, fantastic content. Let's get inside. Here we go. Right, gents, happy Saturday, the fish finale. Our big day. Our big, I mean, it's, it's always a highlight, isn't it? Absolutely. I would one, say it's the highlight. The, I mean, it's the one <laughs> everybody comes over for, it's one of the locals go to. Amazing to be here. Yeah, well, amazing yeah. to be here on Isla, amazing yeah. to be here at the distillery. Colin, thank you so much for no, welcoming us to, to, to the again. warehouse as well. And it's, it's a big day for our big, it's a fun day as it, well, which it, is what it's all about. It is, and this year it's about a, a spectacular dram. Sure. Very and, good, very spectacular good. Spectacular and a, spectacle of flavours uh -huh. and here at Ard Beg Day we always like you say it's a it's a great day it finishes the week mm. been a busy week uh, but it finishes the week and people come from all over but a great yeah. mix of locals and visitors ah, as well yeah. they're always the ones that are the hardest to get to leave at the end of the day <laughs> yeah. but um yeah, really, really special. And obviously this year it's all about the spectacle of flavours and the dark circus. Mm, so we've yeah. had, you know, great excitement out there and lots of people dressed up. It's so what it's our all about. It's all about that theatrical nature and eye-catching and thought-provoking liquid. Mm. But also people are coming here because they love the liquid. They love ah, the they story do. of our big. They do. And I think we've, like the Isla Distilleries, I know we've spoken before, have this sort of cult following. Mm. Like it's like a pilgrimage when people come <laughs> here. And the South Isla Distilleries, the three of us, soon yeah. to be four of us that sit at the, at the south end of the island, tend to have a very fanatical fall and yeah. Ardbeg take it to the next level. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, I, you know, special. Ardbeg tattoos and yeah. I mean, people, people, my dog's called Ardbeg, my child's called Ardbeg, <laughs> you know, but it's, uh, I mean, a piece of <laughs> people have, yeah. people have, you know, this place was shut through the 80s and, yeah. you know, as we've kind of risen back from the ashes, mm. people have been on that journey with us, mm. but it's all around the liquid, right? Yeah. And, they, yeah. There's you some amazing whiskey we can make yeah, here. You so. wouldn't have that following if you didn't have fantastic liquid yeah, at yeah, the end so of the day. And we're very lucky to have sneaked off to a warehouse of all places. <laughs> I know, it's great. Like, and the, the following is sort of encapsulated in, in the committee, which has been going yeah. on for, what, yeah. 20... Well, next year will be our 25th year. 25th it was the year, year. 2000. Yeah, and uh, it's growing all the time, oh, and it's think, all corners of the world. It's... Yeah, I mean, we had, uh, we did, did do an Ardbeg AGM where we mm. like to update, you know, because it's a yeah. committee, you've got I to have an AGM. Yeah. And um, I think we were up to over 150,000 yeah. members uh, all over the world, whether yeah, yeah. it's, you know, Burkina Faso or, or <laughs> yeah. Bathgate. They're yeah. everywhere, right? So, um, yeah. but you it's, wanna... <laughs> <laughs> it's good. Call it, you are one of us, okay? That's the same sentence before, I'm, yeah. I'm, I guarantee that sentence has never been said. <laughs> so but, let's talk about the liquid this year. Yeah. So this year, it's something a bit different for our big. It is indeed. So you've got a vatting of some bourbon cask, which yep. we see, and that gives that distillery character. Yep. And something that we're used to in the core ranges. And also some fully matured port cask. Yeah, mm. so we like to play about Bill, Dr. Bill Lumsden, our uh, head of distillation, whiskey creation guru, uh, and Gillian MacDonald, who is, who is, well, she heads up the creation side of things. They have come up with uh, the spectacular, and like you say, it's quite rare. We do like to play about with cast types we have for mm. years and years. Bill was one of the, the forefront of it back mm -hmm. in the day. Um, but we obviously have our sister distillery, Glen Morangy, with the mm. Quinta Ruban, which yep. they use the, the port cask, uh, uh, port pipes up there as well. Yeah. We brought some casks down and we wholly matured our big new make spirit for a number of years. There's no age statement on the bottle, yeah. but for a good number of years. Um, and then, we, like you say, we've combined that yeah. with these, these bourbon refills. And it's this marriage, it's, and that's when Bill first tasted it. He talked about a spectacle of flavours. Yeah. These... Classic Ardbeg notes that we get the 
the, the soot and the fruit, what he's mm. described as mm. these incredibly smoky, sooty, ashy notes with these yeah. great citrus fruity notes. But something really interesting happens with these port casts as well, you know, and, and we'll have a taste. Fantastic. Yeah. This is what people have come to for Fajila for. So something unique, something different. Uh, 46% as well, natural what, colour. Natural colour. Remember, I'm chill filtered, so we always go a bit yeah. higher strength because, sure. because we don't chill filter. Our bag yeah. helps just give you that great mouth coating. You'll mm. taste that, you'll know you've had an hard bag for It's, a, good, it's just a bit while. more authentic, it's a bit more honest. You're not stealing whiskey from us, which we're very grateful for. <laughs> oh, I know that so. filtration causes a bit of trouble. <laughs> so, so if you could pour it for yeah, us, so we'll, we'll let you in charge. But a great design as well, Laurie. I mean, yeah, I, I mean, it's fun. It's you know, it's fun. It's vibrant. It's brilliant. I think it's when you when you mentioned about age, I was like, it gets a bit boring this age chat, isn't it? Because it's it's, it it's becoming less and less relevant. It, I mean, it, particularly well, it for is. a silly like art deck, I think more and more people are getting clued up mm -hmm. and are trying amazing whiskies, which. Perhaps do have an age yeah. like like Excuse wee beast right. eight five well, years a good, old. It's a great example. You know even you know even but, English single malts that are coming out well, at three but, four years old and are mm -hmm. stunning yeah. as well. Yeah, uh, and I it's, know, we, we have definitely moved the conversation away. Yeah. Uh, and you, we're all whiskey lovers, right? It's like today and socialising, meeting people from mm. the world. It's the greatest thing now. If the liquid's good and it's great whiskey, yeah. then that's what it's all about. So yeah, and, and you get. You know, I, I, again, we t often talk about that here with maturation and getting mm. this balance with the age right with yeah. the casks because, you know, if you taste an over-matured whiskey, you're going to know about 100%. it. 100%. Yeah. You know, and by so that point, it's, it's too late. You can't, you can't, <laughs> no, you can't turn yeah, back time. No turn yeah. it back. But and for people that maybe aren't so familiar with Isla Whiskey and stuff like Ardbeg, what, what we're saying is, again, young spirit, it will retain that peak smoke character uh, that we're talking about. Yeah, and, we, and that's why, and young Ardbegs always work quite well. Now, I say this is a mix of, of ages in here. Mm. Um, but you know, the wee beastie where we slap the mm. five year on it so yeah. everyone knows it's young, yeah. but it's, it's yeah. vibrant, it's punchy. Yeah. And there's still some sweetness there, but yeah. you know, incredible citrus notes. There's a briny note to mm. it and a real kick of, of, yeah. of, of like, you know, coal, ash, and everything. Yeah, so absolutely. it's about finding these balances. But Was this spectacular, you can see the color, all natural color, as we said, and you'll see yeah. a wee glint going slightly. Slightly to the, the that wee reddish tinge and the, the amber moving slightly to a, a, a redder color, but great color on mm -hmm. it. Mm. Straight away with that nose, that hard bag that we talk about a lot, the, 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 the sooty fruity notes you tend mm. with something like our 10 year old, the classic hard yep. bag, you get real citrus notes, mm -hmm. lemons, sort of smoky limes, but there's something a wee bit different happened here. There's a more of a sort of chocolatey note, like mm -hmm. a dark chocolate note coming through, maybe a bit of the influence of the port casks, mm. but there's like a candied sweet thing going on there, a wee Definitely. like, yeah, well, it's sweet, but there's, it's almost got a wee floral thing, a bit lavender-y something. because port, yeah, port can dominate a whiskey sometimes. It and sometimes yeah. it can be a bit too sweet or maybe a wee bit spicy or just sort of, you lose that balance of the whiskey. But yeah. I think here it's it's there, but it's, yeah. It's in proportion. We're still yeah. going to get the Ardbeg yeah. DNA here. It's yeah. not going to be, this could be any other whiskey in a port cask. But yeah. that's key. And again, when, you, when you're when you looking at playing about with casks, and whether it's something like the Ugadal that we mm. do and, and use all our also sherry casks, we still want that distillery character. Like yeah. you say, the DNA, yeah. right, that, yeah. that <clears throat> suit and fruit, they'll keep going back to this. Yeah. And I always say it, the balance is the most overused word in whiskey, but... <laughs> It's the most important. It is, but it is it's <laughs> so like, important yeah. to find in that, yeah. Well, yeah. let's have a little taste. Right, so and Jeva, no, cheers. And Jeva, thank you for, for, having for us. taking us away from the madness. What a pleasure. <laughs> cheers, Laurie. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah, I must say, I was so relieved. Obviously, the iconic Ardbeg bottles and the sort of olive glass. I was like, if Colin pours this out and it's bright pink, I'm going to be like, this is going to be too much port. This <laughs> is going like, to done. Yeah, but it's... No. no. I mean, it's when we're obviously bringing... These whiskies together, we play about a lot with the recipe, yeah, and, yeah. you know, and Bill's a massive... I said, if you can't trust Dr. Bill, you can't trust anybody. It's, it's, it's quite interesting, just... You get, like we say, that great mouth coat and great mm -hmm. ash mouthfeel, but there, there is sweetness there. I, I just think there's a slightly, almost a slightly menthol thing going on okay, there, just okay. a little bit, but... It's it's got almost a slightly nuttier note, maybe mm -hmm. like, yeah, a, like definitely. candy nuts or something going through. I definitely think there's a, there's a nutty malty note uh, on, on the palate before you kind of really embrace the peat that you expect from mm. our big. I know it's funny when you play about with cast how that influences your <clears throat> your phenol and the type of smoke. Essentially, mm. we, we've got a program, Masters of Smoke, where you break that down. Is it? A medicinal smoke because yeah. it's smoked meat, yeah, yeah. which you'll quite often get with some hard bags. Um, do you know? And, and and it's it's really breaking that down. Mm. 
I just, I always just get a lovely wood ash mouth coating. Yeah. There is a real, it's added a wee dimension to the sweetness feel there. You think the uh, the ashiness is quite unique to, to what our beg do in terms of that smoky style. I think we, we talk about peated whiskey, again, we've spoken about the age ranges, but actually the cask is influential. Of course, the PPM filling and, and when it comes to the cask is influential, but even like how early you cut. The whiskey in, but in production is influential for the kind of smoke that you're getting. Definitely, well. uh, and yeah, I mean that is, you, you, I mean Isla is the best place to see that. Mm. Obviously, with with the different distilleries cutting different areas, how long you run your four shots at the start. Mm. So we tend to be a very quick four shots, just ten minutes. Okay. When the heads comes in, the heads come in because we're essentially just cleaning out the lines from the run before. But <laughs> all your very volatile fruity esters, they're all they're all going to come through at the start, so we cut early. Yeah. Why some will run the four shots much longer, they don't want okay. as much of it. There's a slight, I, I'm really enjoying this. It's actually the second time I've had it. It's the first time that I've been able to, okay, it's been, been a busy phase, yeah. my first phase year as well, actually. So I've really kind It'll of- will be your last well, I, I, You know, it's, it really will not. I've put myself in the deep end. Um, that sounds like an invite for next year. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. I really well, have put myself yeah. in the deep end. And, I was, and I'll be honest with you, Colin, I'll be a bit apprehensive because I'm not a lover of heavily peated whiskey ah. a lot of the time. So I had a real serious pre-season, right. a kind of six, six months leading up to this, and Laurie's taking care of me. Mm. And it's one of those things that are begging Lefroy to the face of it and to a lot of people listening, they might have seen it in the shelves or heard about it or even walked in a room and, and been able to smell it and somebody's poured it. Yeah. And they can be afraid of that kind of initial, that initial you know, chance of trying something quite unique. Yeah. But this here has a lovely sweetness to it. It almost has a kind of smoky popcorn note, Aye, which I associate with the, it, with the Ardbeg 10. Yeah. Um, I don't know, like the wee sort of caramel sweetness thing. I, 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 I'm fine. It's funny because you're talking about like, the smoke because we know Zardbeg every day, samples. Yeah. Yeah. We taste a lot. See, straight away, I was like, oh, I'm, you know, I'm getting a floral note or lavender. Cause, cause, yeah, yeah. But it's so subtle because yeah. it's but the smoke, because we are so used to it, mm -hmm. <laughs> I should always yeah, like, be... Of course there's smoke. Yeah, I'll yeah. smoke but, but, it's, yeah. Uh, but it is just something you, when you, when you, you, you drink, drink a lot of hard bag and yeah, knows a lot of you, hard bag. You know the peat is going to be the consistent factor and it's looking for what else is ah, there. Because I, I find that quite floral. Mm. I, I think that mm. there is a sort yeah. of, like a lavender. I said menthol, maybe not quite menthol, but there's a definite... Um, really interesting. Yeah, it definitely kind of evolves quite nicely as well. Yeah. It's not... I find some whiskies, you've got the nose and you've got the palate and the finish and it's quite like fragmented. Yeah. This kind of... It's quite quite together, yeah, yeah. Quite I don't know what you mean with the sort of popcorn or sort of buttery something you come to sometimes get, but really, really good. Now this is at forty six percent, and now we could, we've not got water on the table, but we can add a wee bit of water just to open it up as well. Got a wee bit of water now. What are results? Let's have a wee okay. add a wee drop. So like think. I say, forty six percent. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Find the end of the site. That's it. These droppers are. Uh, it immediately makes it slightly sweeter yeah, um, on the nose. Oh, and again, you know, we're speaking a lot about the port because we know how influential it is, but actually bourbon cask matured, you know, it's, it's, not, it's not a port finish here. We're using fully matured bourbon whiskey and fully matured port whiskey and batting them together. And so you are going to get a freshness from the bourbon. Yeah, definitely, definitely. And it just it rounds it really well. Mm -hmm. And because sometimes that citrusy notes that we get in our big like again 10 year old mm. is all ex bourbon a lot of first fill bourbon casks mm -hmm. used in it and it does it quite often amplifies some of those sort of mm. fresh zesty notes mm -hmm. that yeah. you can get absolutely yeah, beautiful jam so for lovely, for those who lovely. aren't here yeah. obviously enjoying our big day what things have we been missing out on obviously if it's a circus theme well, we've Fancy got... Fancy dresses we've are going to be all sorts. music, we've got games. So our okay. every single year at our big day, our warehousing team build games. Sure. Um, they're incredible. They're a terrible yeah, yeah, yeah. team, you know. If they're not stowing casks, um, filling casks, yeah. disgorging casks, they, they build games. So they've been quite creative again nice. this year yeah. with what they've come up with. But yeah, we've got all sorts and we've had, you know... Uh, acrobats in and various acts in yeah. and, um, and lots of great tasting. We've done yeah. a great tasting next door in the filling store. So I feel like the team I'll, love yeah. the build up to our big day. It's like, right, let's yeah. get our creative hats on. Let's, you know, what, you know, you're, let's, you're, let's go wild. You're, let's push you're, the you're boy. creating memories at the end of the day. There's a lot of people who maybe have been thinking about coming to Fejila for years and years and ah. years. It might be their first time coming to the, the you know, the island, it might be the first time coming to the festival, it might be their first time coming to Ardbeg. Yeah. And so if you can make that a memorable experience, you're good ambassadors for whiskey, good ambassadors for Scotland. Mm. Yeah. And, and what a dram to celebrate it. And what a pleasure yeah. to share it with you, yeah. gentlemen. Absolute pleasure. Yeah. Thank, Thank you so much. Cheers. 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 Cheers.
Well, folks, what a day it's been at Ardbeg on the south coast of Isla. A wonderful day, a wonderful whiskey as well. The spectacular classic Ardbeg for me with a little hint of that port coming through as well. Yeah, a, real treat. a fantastic opportunity to spend some more time with Colin in a warehouse. It's what we love to do. Um, fantastic. Let us know what you think in the comments about Ardbeg. Make sure to like and subscribe if you're enjoying the content. We've got some newer whiskey stuff coming up very soon.